This session we're going to look at your written diet evaluation instructions. You've already gathered your diet data and you should have that page available and we'll be looking specifically at the three-day average page. You'll also want to upload and print the written diet evaluation instructions that you'll find on module 3. And then also I've included an example of a written diet evaluation that one of my former students has done that gives a good idea of the format that I would uh, like you to use. So with those three documents I just want to go through and give you some heads up on what you'd be looking for and how you should present your information. So what you'll see in this next slide is just a representation or snapshot of your three-day average page and what you'll see is there are two there are two columns there's one column that says DRI and that's the uh, goals that we would want to meet and then the other column is going to be your uh, intake column which is going to be what the information of what you actually ate so we'll be going back and forth and looking at, at that information but the first section that we want to look at is the carbohydrates. So if you look at your instruction sheet, you'll notice after the introduction you have carbohydrates. And so what you're going to be looking for is that um, we want our goal to be about 58% total calories coming from carbohydrates. So uh, of that 58%, 10% need to come from simple sugars and 48% would come from complex. Your simple sugars must be 10% or less. Uh, if you're above 10%, then you're going to need to make some adjustments to lower those down. Uh, and if they're below 10%, you don't have to make any adjustments. You just need to indicate what your percentage is and then go from there. Your complex carbohydrates must be 48% or above. And so uh, our goal is to meet 58%. So if you're below 10% uh, on your simple, then your complex must be above 48% because you would be adding your simple plus your complex to get your total carbohydrate of 58%. So our, those are our goals. So let's see how we are be able to accomplish those. Uh, the next chart you'd want to look at on your three-day average page would be um, the bar graph that deals with calories um, and fats. And I've kind of uh, put two pages together and yours may be on separate pages, but if you look at the percentage section of carbohydrates, what I've got circled in red is 49%. So based on the food that I put into uh, my program, my carbohydrate intake was 49 percent so that's below 58 percent so I know that I'm going to have to increase uh, what I need to decide is do I need to uh, decrease my simple increase my complex or are my simple fine and I just need to uh, work on my complex but um, all total I need to result in 58 percent total so let's look at uh, how we're going to do that so I'm at 49 percent and just to give you a heads up so if you go back to that first page where it has the column so this would be uh, the bar graph page of your three-day average what you'll notice and what I have circled is that the the 49 percent that I just showed you uh, is equal to 300 and about 341 grams of carbohydrates. So what the, the way they got they uh, came about that percentage uh, is they took the uh, 340 grams, they multiplied that by four calories per gram and changed it into calories. Then you would divide it by your energy uh, kilocalories of energy. Uh, which was about 2761 or so, uh, 51 I guess, and uh, you would get that percentage. So uh, that's how they derived that percentage. So uh, you can <clears throat> kind of play with that so you get an understanding. So we know that 340 uh, is or 0.56 is going to be 49 percent so we know we're going to have to increase that gram amount in order to make our 58 percent but first thing we need to do though is uh, look at our um, 
uh, total carbohydrates, see where we're at, and then go from there. So what we have determined is that our three-day average for carbohydrates is right around 341 grams. So you can uh, round up or down depending on how close you are. So it's not going to make one diff much difference if it's a one gram difference. And then that represents, you know, times four, that represents about 1364 calories or as we, we saw about 49%. So what we're going to say is this is below the recommended intake 58%, so our adjustments need to be made. So this is what I would actually like see that to see you write uh, on your written report under the heading of carbohydrates. You're just going to give me a little heads up that basically shows me that you know where you're at. And so you'd list the grams, the calories, the percentage, and then tell me where we need to be at. So we need to be at 399 to be at 58%. So basically about a 50, you know, 58 gram difference. And so we're going to have to make that average up somehow. But the next thing we'd want to look at is, okay, I know I need to raise my carbohydrates, but do I need to raise or lower simple? Uh, what do I need to do with them? Well, what I determined, and I'll show you how I did that, is that, um, and I just gave an example. I'm not going to go through the whole scenario, but what you'd want to do is determine your average of simple sugars. So basically what you're going to find out is, okay, how many simple sugars did I have for day one? How many did I have for day two? And then how many did I have for day three? And then you would add those sugars up for each day, divide by three to get an average per day. And so what I'm going to say is that our average for this uh, demonstration uh, is going to be 62 grams or 240 calories or 9%. So this is under 10%. So I don't really need to make any changes. I don't need to raise it. I don't need to lower it. So all I would expect you to write in this section if you're below 10 percent is that you have met the goal you're you're 10 percent and below so you you do not need to make any adjustments now if you're over the 10 percent then you're going to need to make some adjustments and as we go through I think you'll get the idea of how you would make those adjustments because we're going to have to make some adjustments for our complex because if we're at nine percent obviously our complex is going to be have to be at 49 percent because uh, the 49 percent plus the nine percent is going to give us our 58 percent goal